Hey, well, welcome back. Just when you thought you can get rid of me. I'm just kidding. Guess what? I got more content for you. And you're thinking like, oh no, not this guy again. He's gonna go off yapping about a topic I don't care about. Well, I, I mean, I... That could be true, but uh, I'm gonna post it anyway. Um, anyway, before you fast forward, because I know you probably will fast forward, please make sure to listen to this very carefully, because this could actually apply to you in the long run and help you in the, uh, in the long run. Uh, I would just like to say this, that, okay, so you're going to be successful in life. You're going to go out there and kill it. You're going to go out there and crush it. All your goals, all your dreams, all your success. You're going to retire. You're going to get money. You're going to save up. You're going to you're gonna go on vacation. You're going to find a nice wife. You're going to, you know, you'll be, you're, you're going to you're gonna have a fantastic legend in, in back of you. You're going to, you know, make, make everyone happy. You're going to be the number one sales rep, you're going to sell all the sell the cars in the world, you're, you're going to find the perfect spouse, you're going to have the perfect family, you're going to have the perfect um, whatever it is in your life that you think that, that, that you're just simply waiting on to just happen in the next 10, 15, 20 years, or next 5 years, you're just waiting and happening, you don't care about anybody else because you're thinking about, guess what, I'm going to be doing something special in the next 5 years. And you think that's going to give you that satisfaction. And you think that's going to give you that joy. Right? You think people who have completely, completely fulfilled their passions. You think people that have absolutely crushed their goals. You think people that, 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 that have always wanted to bench press 500 pounds. That when they got into the bar and bench pressed 500 pounds, they were the most happiest people in the planet. Or do you think that... LeBron James, who has four, who has millions of dollars, living in a beautiful house, working hard every single day, grinding towards his goals. Do you think he is accomplished in life doing that? Do I think you're going to be accomplished in life doing that? Do you think waking up every day at five o'clock in the morning to go to the gym or to work on your passion or to do something that, or, 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 to, or, or to work towards something that will fulfill, that you think will fulfill you in the next five years? You think by working towards your satisfaction level, your goals, you think that will make you happy? Let me tell you something. It actually won't. Here's a spoiler alert. It ain't gonna make you happy, and if you talk to about ninety five percent of athletes in the world, there, there, there are, there are, it's not, it's not work for them. They're not satisfied. LeBron James is not sitting on his mansion. He's not sitting on his, in his Rolls Royce, Royce or whatever car he drives, and saying, "This is amazing life." I mean, I won't trade this for the world. You, I don't think he's in, in uh, no. It's not, it's not happening because he's not. There's always something that he's chasing after. And if you're one of those persons that are chasing after things, that are chasing after this, oh, you move into this side, move into that side, you go to the left, you go to the right, you want to do this idea, you got to have this idea, none of that's going to matter. Because all that's going to leave you do is going to leave you running around trying to find things that will make you happy. But the one thing in life that we know that will make us happy is in First Thessalonians. That's why I bring out the Bible again. For Thessalonians, it says this. Remember before God and Father, your work produced by faith, your labor prompt by love, and your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. So the hope in our Lord Jesus Christ will get us to our finish line. Will get us to our endurance. Will make life easier. Jesus says, take my yoke, for your burden is heavy. Life is heavy. Take my yoke, it's light. The point is, nothing in life will give you that satisfaction. Nothing in life. And so, wait a sec. So you might be a Christian. You might be a Christian. Try, you might be a Christian who's struggling with this, right? You might be a Christian who says, okay, I don't have the satisfaction. I am still sad. There is still something in my heart that is darkened, right? There is a cloud of rain above me and I can't seem to get out of, get out of it. It doesn't matter what people do to me. It doesn't matter how nice they are. It doesn't matter where I go. It doesn't matter who I see. There's always a sense of darkness inside of me that can never be shaken. Why? Why do I feel so dark? Why? Why is it when I, when I drive my car down a land, I feel more, I feel less lonely than when I'm, out, than when I'm alone? Why is there a sense of darkness inside of me that cannot be cured? 
And, and, and believers might may might actually have this kind of question. And the answer to that question is they're not reading the Bible enough. They're not spending enough time with God. Because the God, the, the God of my Bible says, I give you re living hope and living water which rests inside of you. So every time you feel darkness and sad and lonely and no joy and not happy and, and you feel like there's no point to life, remember the words of Jesus Christ when he says, take my yoke. Or you, or he has written somewhere else as it said, the joy of God rests inside, rest inside of you. And that's one of the fruits of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience. So the point is, you got, the point is, it can be cured. Your sadness, where you are, you're not feeling right. You're not feeling fulfilled. That all of that can be fulfilled. And it's all that right in front of you at your fingertips if you follow along with this plan. And you say, Ben, what plan am I recommending? The plan I recommend to cure any sadness or happiness or loneliness or emptiness inside of your mind and your body does not come, does not come with money or friends or family or, or people. It doesn't come with all these external stuff, but it comes with something within your spirit, and that is reading your scripture. So I have a, I have a plan, and I want you to send me an email or, 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 a, or message me down below. But um, the plan here I have out for you will make you in 30 days where you will see an increased self of, ha of happiness, an increased fulfillment in life, and a an increased satisfaction with joy. And that will rub off on many people. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, but again, the, the plan is not, is not outside. It has to do with spiritual inside your soul, inside your mind. But it has to do with coming from the scripture itself. And so this plan actually points you to the scripture, tells you, read these passages a day, read these passages a week, read these passages on Monday, on Tuesday, Wednesday, and actually guides you, takes your hand and guides you through life. That way you're not, you don't feel alone or you don't feel empty, you don't feel sad. You feel like someone's there taking your hand and, and guiding you through life and through the Bible. It's my, the, the plan, the plan that, that I have was going to help you succeed with finding your joy and fulfillment. And so if you really want this, uh, message me down below and I'll give you this plan. And the plan is how to read your Bible in the correct way. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching the video. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. May the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ be upon all who he, whom he has chosen. And grace and peace be in mercy be on all to those who love him. Thank you.